I did not even know that that was possible. Um, oh, by the way, good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. We're not going to keep uh, a long video today. We're going to do a short video. Uh, one of the things they have on their list is that this lane is continuously cycling. The solenoid is getting very hot. I immediately went to the camera board and I have never seen this before. All of the LEDs are on. So we're putting power out um, on the, sil the relays here for cycle and score for left lane and right lane. Uh, rake down switches are both activated. I think that the problem's in this board. Uh, we're gonna try a power cycle first. Maybe they have a spare board. We can swap one board from this camera out to another lane, see if the problem moves the board. Like I said, we're not gonna do that all on camera, but this one was enough to uh, start recording, just because I've never seen this before. This looks a little more normal. Um, if you can see, if it will focus, um, we don't have a full board of LEDs lit up anymore. This is not a new board. Uh, it's new to this pair, but this should do it. That was crazy. I've never seen that before. I do know that the solenoid functions. I don't know, however, how well. So we're just gonna turn it on and cycle it. And we're gonna make sure that the solenoid is operating properly. I believe that it is, but given the fact that it has overheated a couple of times because the relay in that camera board was in the closed position, they were constantly supplying power to this cycle solenoid and they may have caused some damage. So we need to make sure that it is not damaged. Safety first, remember, safety first. Uh, we have the drop cord plugged into the circuit box now. Let's see what we can do. There we go. Uh-oh. Oh, we're at 180. <laughs> Never mind. Let's try that again. Now that we're not at 180. That looks good. I think we're done here. Well, I'm thinking about it. Um, since we have a new circuit board, we're going to check our camera adjustments too. So we're going to check our lane. We're going to go to, oh no, or other, no, wait, hold on. Vector settings, camera settings. It's been a while since I've done this. This is the wrong lane. We're right here. Settings, camera settings. Since we changed our circuit board out, we want to double check our camera settings. Look at all these targets. They're um, all over the place, huh? Got all our targets set back up. What we want to do, we want to hit down here. We want to hit test day. Click it a couple of times. You'll see these light numbers bounce around a little bit. We're looking to get kind of a ballpark average and we're looking for the lowest number. In our case here, it's gonna be seven and we're bouncing around 128 to 130. So in our light level for day, we need to enter 60% of 128. In our case, we're gonna do 60% of 130 uh, and we're gonna round off to the nearest uh, 25, right? So for us, that's going to be a level of 75. So we're going to set our light level, daytime, or test day, 75, based on these numbers. And this should be good to go. If we do set, let's say we set our light level at uh, 140. Well, 141. And we hit test day. These light levels are below that threshold and the scoring system is going to determine that those pins are down, that they're not standing even though they are. So these light levels are pretty important. Let's go back to 75. We're done here. Cool. 